what is up everybody how are you guys doing today i hope you're having a great one um i am super super geek that not only did i get the chameleon which was pretty dope i got some damn lucky streamer rng and it dropped on my first uh my first bounty that i did when episode three launched but i've kind of also sort of found uh maybe uh d3 fnc sort of build in the division two um if you're like me, D3 FNC was one of your favorite builds in Division 1. I know it was for me. I love that gear set. Um, and especially with the Ninja Bag, and then you could combine it with Predmark. It was awesome. You could absolutely annihilate shit. You could face tank stuff. You could be the Leroy Jenkins fantasy that I've always wanted to live. I could finally live it out. Because uh, if you've ever been to my streams or if you've ever grouped with me uh in game you know that i am not at all very tactical in this or most other games uh unless the game is made to be tactical which this is a cover based shooter so maybe it was but i don't know um i've always loved just running forward and i've never been able to get it to work out quite well uh every time that i use the shield like i was super excited when i got into division two the first time and i saw that the shield was just a skill and that you could use the the crusader skill and use it with you know awesome guns and uh, you know assault rifles and shotguns and i was like oh that's gonna be sweet and i've never been able to get it built uh to be able to use it the way that you could use uh d3 in division one however that kind of changed with episode three with firewall because it's got a couple of mods on it that like increase the health of the shield um mod to increase the regeneration of the shield but also just the way that a lot of of this um class or the specialization works works really really well with being the type of super aggressive uh gameplay that i like to do um i'm gonna go over the build kind of quickly because right now i mean we've only got two weeks to go right until all of this is gonna be for naught but the reason i wanted to make this video right now is because um frederick thylander came out today and actually uh on twitter replied to another um another thread and he said that the shield will in gear 2.0 the shield will actually scale based on both skill tier and your armor so if you have armor pieces you know how each um gear piece is going to have that core attribute and it'll either be weapon damage skill tier or wep or i'm sorry or armor um the the shield health will scale based on skill tier and or armor um if I can remember, I'll throw that tweet up right here so that you can see it. And I'll link it in the, the description down below if you want to see that tweet for yourself, if you don't believe me. But anyway, uh, yeah, he said that. So it's kind of cool. The build that I've got now, I'll show some gameplay in a little bit. Um, but as you can see, like the shield itself does not have uh, a whole lot of hit points, right? It only has 378 thousand hit points which if you play the division you know that gets melted relatively quickly um and you'll see in the gameplay that it, it doesn't you can't play it the same way that you could play d3 fnc where you just pull out the shield and you just go um this you kind of have to toss it aside use it and then like bring it back up when you need it but that's kind of the the brilliance that i love with uh firewall and with berserk uh, as soon as your armor, you know, every 20% of your max armor that is gone, uh, you get 10% bonus weapon damage. Then with a chameleon, uh, as soon as you start stacking those body shots and you get that buff, it gets crazy. And then it gets even more insane once your uh, crit, once the headshot bonus uh, of the chameleon goes up and, and you really start doing crap tons of damage. Um, and the cool thing is, is I tend to charge forward getting shot losing all of my armor and then as i get close to an enemy my armor gets popped firewall triggers there's a defensive ability that when your armor gets popped Howdy. in firewall you uh you you burn things around you it's called fiery response on armor break you apply a burn to enemies within five meters so as you're charging forward and they're hitting you when you get right up close to them if they pop your armor your armor's gone they're on fire and you actually get a little bit of a reprieve that's when you pull out your shield you do bonus damage 
based on how many enemies are in front of you in that that arc of the shield you'll see it when when the shield gets pulled out um so you do bonus damage based on that plus with berserk triggered you're doing 100 percent bonus damage right because you've lost or i'm sorry you're doing 50 percent bonus damage because you've lost 100 percent of your armor and then the other key to the way that i've got this built is i actually have an absolute ass ton of health on kill you can see right here i've got 171,000 health on kill and i only have 200,000 health so essentially once i get all of my armor gone and i get that shield up if somebody gets around behind me and takes a couple shots i'm absolutely annihilating everything in front of me and boom my health is almost immediately back up to full it is so damn fun and you just run from enemy to enemy to enemy just mowing shit down so essentially uh i've got restorative on my mask with you know critical hit chance and damage to elites none of that stuff really matters right now because all of this is going away in two weeks right so that's not going to be there and essentially i've just stacked health absolutely everywhere i can um i health or assault rifle damage if i can um but yeah, that's pretty much it. I know there are some other ways you can run it. I've I've seen um, Imperium, uh, a buddy of mine, actually runs it with Clutch, and he uh, and and he doesn't run it with the shield. Uh, but essentially, the chameleon. There's there's different ways you can run it. But I did try it with Clutch also, and unfortunately, I just don't have the pieces to to really put together a good crit build. So I don't have that. But um yeah that's about it uh the rest of the build is is just pretty straightforward i've got patience in case i need uh to duck into cover because you'll see every now and then you duck into cover but even then um because of the the brilliance of firewall and and it having the the um uh cover to cover armor bonus that you get uh i think you get 50 percent bonus armor uh during a cover to cover so if you do get super screwed duck into cover really quick do a cover to cover you get yourself some extra ammo or i'm sorry you get yourself some extra armor and then um you know pop the shield back out pop up get into better position uh, it does this build does require you to be able to really kind of go wonky and and run around and really really focus on um being mobile uh, moving around, getting up close to your enemies, getting the shield out when you can. When you get up close, bring the shield out, get the damage bonus, and as soon as you kill the enemies next to you, pitch the shield away because it'll start regenerating um, once uh, it's put away, and then you can charge up to get to the next enemy and then pull it back out again. And as long as the shield isn't destroyed, you can whip it out and 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 put it away as often as you want. And I think there's only a second cooldown between putting it away and whipping that bad boy back out. Um, now, with what Frederick had said today, I actually do think that it's going to work way way better in gear 2.0 when you start to be able to use um that 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 armor stacking with skill tier right because right now i'm stacking i mean i do have armor because I, i've got a decent amount of blue stats like armor defensive stats um so that i can still run patience which i really don't need to do um but i've got a bunch of blues because all of the blue stats that i do have on this build are health related i haven't gotten a better pair of gloves so that plus 1.5 percent health is lame but whatever um because i've just stacked health wherever i have armor uh or, or like the blue stats or health on kill like on this one um i still have a ton of blues and so i'm hoping and i'm praying and i'm really going to work at it when i hit level 40 this is going to be the first build that i really try to make because i think if that works out well you could probably go three weapon damage three or four weapon damage to keep being able to burn things and then go two or three uh skill tier or uh armor and then hopefully be able to use mods because that's the big problem right now with the way that the the skill system works is that you really can't put up uh skill mods like every skill mod that i have that would give me extra health or or whatever it's just or like extra regeneration they require a crap ton of skill power which means that you actually have to like level into skill which then takes down your weapon damage which now that's true 
Um, and I just don't have a lot of skill pieces. So I think right now I probably could build relatively high skill. Um, but I just, I don't have the skill pieces because it was never a focus of mine. So I never really did that. But right now I've got a mod that has, uh, it would be plus 75% health, but it requires 2,200 skill power. So to use that one, I need way more skill power than I have. And unfortunately it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense with the build the way it is now. And I don't have the pieces and yada, yada, yada. Um, another thing that I, ha I do run all, uh, often on this and you'll see, you know, here at some point in the gameplay is I do have spark on my backpack, which I've started using, um, the stinger hive because you can put it down and pick it up. Now that was something I think they, they changed in TU six. So you'll see here and there, uh, in, in the, the, the gameplay that when I drop the hive, it actually, you can run over and pick it back up. So you can drop it, it chucks out a couple of charges, you get sparked to trigger, kill the enemies that are within range of it, and then just run over, pick it back up, get up to the next group of enemies, toss it back down, and, and trigger spark again. So it really, really, really works really well. And I'm super, super excited for um, Gear 2.0 to see exactly how this will work at that point because, man, I want D3 to work. Um, so that's about it. I'm going to let the gameplay play out so that you guys can, can see the rest of it. Uh, I breezed through. This was just challenging, but, I mean, it just... And I know challenging difficulty stuff isn't exactly, like, tough nowadays in The Division 2. Um, but, I mean, I breezed through this. I yeah, never really challenged, never really had an issue. Um, I'm still trying to tweak it, so I haven't really, like, focused on trying to get hard, like, heroics done or anything like that. But let me know what you think. If you've been able to get a good uh, shield build, uh, let me know. And if you are a D3 lover, please let me know because we got to stick together. And, and hopefully it will be the return of the shield bros in, um, in gear 2.0 and, and in New York, I'm really, really excited for it. So let me know. Thank you guys very much for sticking around and watching the video, watch the rest of the gameplay. Let me know, do all the things. I love you. You guys rock. And until I see you next time, keep on living the dream.
anything to clear out of that compound. 